Hi, it's Paul Kerwin here from Wildwood Films and I'm speaking to you from the shores of Loch Erler which is on the Mayo Roscommon border just outside the town of Balladrim. Now Lake Erler or Loch Erler is actually the source of the River Lung which was the subject of one of my films early last year. We've always filmed, you know, the flora and fauna along riverbanks or in gardens or in woodlands, but I've never actually taken some underwater cameras in, under a body of water such as a river or a lake. So a few weeks ago we came down with the cameras and all the gear and we brought the cameras about 10, 20 and sometimes 30 metres out from the shore and we made some really extraordinary discoveries. Now, as you can probably hear in the background, this lake is really popular for recreational purposes. Lots of families come down and pier jump off the pier. Fishermen come along or bring boats out onto the lake and try and catch some fish out there. And the lake is actually quite full of fish. I mean, we have the usual bream and rudd and tench. But when you come down and look across any kind of body of water like this, it's quite easy to assume that not much is happening underneath the waters. I mean, we don't have the tropical crystal clear waters that you'd find, you know, in Australia or um, along parts of America or Indonesia. So in Ireland, it's either raining or it's going to rain and the waters never really look that inviting. However, I can prove to you right now with a small underwater camera that nothing could be further from the truth. If ever there was a shot that demonstrates the many surprises of Erler Lake, it's this one. Here the camera catches a gudgeon, which is a bottom feeding species, well camouflaged amongst the sand and the foliage. As mentioned earlier, Erler Lake is situated around 10 kilometers from the town of Balahadrim on the Mayo Roscommon border. The lake is around 36 feet at its deepest and its catchment area covers an area of 13 kilometers. And of course, it is the source of the River Lung, which was the subject of one of our documentaries last year. Fish species in the lake include perch, roach, pike, stickleback and the critically endangered European eel. Bird species of the lake also include tufted duck, potsherd, teal, mallard, hooper swan, widgeon and curlew. And Erler Lock is part of the Erler Lake Special Area of Conservation. some really extraordinary footage there. Now earlier on I mentioned corals and you probably saw during the underwater parts of the uh, footage I was moving some rocks around and one thing I didn't expect to find especially in a cold lake in the west of Ireland were some fossilized coral. Now as you can see from the close-ups this coral is called rugos or horn coral and it existed here in this part of the planet 485 million years ago when Ireland was part of the European landmass and the whole area was covered in a warm tropical sea. And it gives a really good insight into what life was like many, many millions of years ago. Of course, completely different to what we find today. And it was, of course, the last thing I expected to find in the bottom of this lake. And the whole bed of the lake is littered in these corals of different shapes and sizes. As I move over the sandy bottom of the lake bed, I disturb the silt underneath. And of course this attracts many fish that follow me, feeding off the silt as it rises to the surface. It seems I've already established a symbiotic relationship with these creatures.
One thing that's really noticeable about Erler Lake is the colour of the water. Brown water lakes contain high amounts of tea-like substances known as dissolved organic matter. Dense forests and bogs provide dark organic material that dissolves in lake waters like a tea bag. This dissolved organic material stains the water brown and shades the underwater world. If you look really carefully at the screen, you'll see a tiny red dot making its way across the foliage. This is a water mite, and it's related to ticks and spiders, and they have an extraordinary ability to absorb dissolved oxygen all over their body surface. This section of footage gives a really good snapshot of my time in the water. Essentially, the area I covered was divided into three main areas, a sandy area, a vegetation area, and a rocky area, which is where I found the samples of fossilized coral. Crossing the sandy plain, I was really pleasantly surprised to see a freshwater snail slowly making its way across the sand. And you can see towards the front that it's actually pushing the sand ahead of itself, trying to get over to where the foliage is. And just to the north of the snail, I find a caddisfly larvae moving as quickly as possible with its protective shell of stones over to the vegetation before it becomes lunch for one of the following fish. Of course, caddisfly are extremely rare, having been recorded in only three other sites in Ireland, which is another reason to protect the natural environment of this extraordinary lake. Here I've reached the rocky section of the lake bed and as you can see a lot of the rocks are covered in pearl mussels which are Ireland's longest living animals with some species living up to 140 years. These creatures are extremely important to the lake because it's a really good indication of how clean the water is. These mussels can filter 50 litres of water per day and they are in steep decline in many areas of the country. And the fact that these mussels are found in Loch Erler is of such importance that it must be protected at all costs. So that's it from me, Paul Kerwin, here on the shores of Loch Erler on the west of Ireland. If you have any questions about this documentary or indeed any of my documentaries, do contact me through our Facebook page, which is Wildwood Films. I'm going to leave you with some more footage from underneath the surface of this lake. And in the meantime, take care and thanks for watching.